Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking. My name is Joanna. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to make this simple circle dress. Let's get straight to the tutorial. So, I'm using two yards of Funkar fabric. You can use more depending on your body size. I have my measuring tape and then a piece of chalk. Let's get straight to the tutorial. So, I went ahead. Like I said, this is two yards of Funkar fabric. So with a two yard unfold like this, I'm not going to flip it anyway. So just the two yards, I'm going to um, fold this in bias. I'm going to fold this in bias to do that. Um, the cutting. I'm going to be folding on the folded part of the fabric. Like I said earlier, um, the the number of yards of fabric will depend on your body size. So I'm using two yards because um, it's, it's, this is going to be enough for the length that I'll be using and the volume that I want for this circle dress. So like this, like I said, fold it in bias like so. And then you're going to be doing the marking. So I folded on the um, folded part of the two yards of fabric. So like this, I'm going to divide my across back and my shoulder to shoulder measurements by two, which is 16. So by two, I have eight inches like that. So that box I marked. Um, mind you, this is an off shoulder dress. So I'm going to be deducting five inches from this. And then I'm going down to my chest line. So from my shoulder to my chest line, dividing my breast measurement by six plus one and a half. I have approximately eight inches so that's what i'm marking my chest line so basically that's the measurement that we are going to be needing i mean the vertical measurement that we are going to be using now all right all right guys so now measure your armhole to your armhole just as i'm showing you on the screen this and then divide that measurement by two and then add at least four inches or three inches if you want to add pleats at the center of your dress if not you can just maintain the measurement so I went in by six inches as you can see and then I'm going to use that to mark the armhole for the dress so just curve it to that of your your chest line that's all curve it to that of your chest line all right now from this point like I said we are deducting five inches from it so I'm going to use this to mark the full length of my dress and then go round with it. So the full length of this particular dress is 37. So I added one inch, um, sorry, I added one and a half inch at the down part, making it 38 and a half. So that's what I marked at the down part like so. So I'm going to go ahead and then cut this dress up. I'm starting from the bottom. As you can see, the bottom part is being shortened. We are going to be adding or uh, joining some to the other side to make it equal. So on the shoulder line, I'm going to go down half inch and then use my curve to join it. You can just maintain the straight line or better say you can just um, give it a little curve. So I went down half inch like this. I'm sorry, the camera couldn't um, capture that side. So using my careful, I'm just joining it to the armhole line like this to just give it a curvy shape. Then I'm going to cut out the dress. Now I'm going to go ahead and then open up the dress like this. Like I said, you can see the other side of the, um, the dress being shortened. So I'm going to be joining some of the fabric to make it equal at the down part. So I'm just folding it back and then flipping it to the other side like this. So as you can see, this is how it looks like. It is being shortened. So I'm going to replace it or join it with the pieces that we had on um, of the other fabric. I'm going to first of all, join it to it like this. Make sure um, you have the right side of the fabrics facing each other like this before you join it. So I folded two of the fabric with the right side facing each other and then I'm going to be joining them to the to the main dress and then pin it down. 
I'm going to be joining them with the pin. Um, I'll make sure I pin it half inch along like so. Like I said, I make sure to pin it half inch because you're going to be joining that size with half of an inch. So after that has been done, I'm going to flip it to the other side like this and then use the other side to trim out the um, hem of the dress like so. I'm going to use the other side to trim out the down part of the dress. Okay guys, so now that I've been able to trim the down part, I'm just going to take out the pins and then join it, join each piece with um, each side of the shortened part of the dress like this. So I'll take one side and then join it like this and pin it down before taking it to the sewing machine to join it with half of an inch. I'll do the same for the other shortened part of the dress as well. Okay, so now after I've pinned it to each piece and each shorten side of the dress, I'm taking the same machine to join them with half of an inch. So this is how it came out. I'm just going to flat iron it. I'm just going to flat iron it before I continue. Okay, so now I'm just going to cut open the other side, the other for the side of the dress, like so. I'm just going to cut open it. All right. So now that has been done, I'm going to get my bias and then uh, pipe the armholes. So with the with this cutting bias, I'm just going to sew it to I mean to pipe the armholes. So this is how it came out. This is how it came out after I've piped the armholes. So I'm just going to place them on each other with the right side facing each other. Like so. I'm just going to place them on each other with the right side facing each other. Alright, so now I'm just going to join the sides together like so. So after I've placed them on each other, I'm going to join the side with one inch like this. I'm going to join the size with one inch. All right, so after I'm marking, I'm going to take it to the same machine to stitch it down. So I joined the size with one inch, as I said earlier. So um, now this has been done, I'm going to turn it to the right side of the fabric like this I'm just going to turn it to the right side of the fabric okay guys so I'm just going to put this aside and then I'm going to focus on the round shoulder circumference this so measure this circumference and then add extra inches depending on how long you want it because you're going to be tying this up so depending on how long you want to just as I'm showing you on the screen, just as how the dress looks like. So I folded up two and a half inches like this, two and a half inches up like this. I'm using the remaining two yards fabric, the remaining of the two yards fabric. So this is the two yards, and I folded it up two inches. Sorry, two and a half inches, two and a half inches like so. So I'm using that to cut it out. I'll open up. I'll open it up for you guys to see how long it is. Okay, so this is how long the band you're going to be using for the um round chest circumference looks like. So the long depends on how you prefer it because of the tying at the end of the one side of the shoulders. So that's it. So I'm going to fold it in half inch like this all the way down. I'll fold in to the wrong side of the fabric half inch like this. 
and then flat iron it all the way down. I'll also do the same for the other side as well. So after I folded in half inch at both sides of the um the band, I'm just going to um close them up like this, fold it like this, and then flat iron it to create the band. I'll fold it up like this and then flat iron it to create the band all the way down. Okay guys, so I'm going to be attaching the band to that of the dress. So, measure that of your chest circumference. Measure that of your chest circumference, just as I'm doing. And then before you join it to the, um, the dress, subtract that measurement from your um, round shoulder circumference divided by 2. So like this. Subtract what you had over here that so I'm going to mark five inches that is the remainder that I have so it means the band is going to start from five inches like so so I'm going to mark it on each side of it and then remember we are not going to we are we are just going to be tying one side um of the dress so like this I'm starting from the other side I'm going to place the chest um circumference in the band like this and then pin it down I'm going to place it in the band like this and then pin it down up to the very end of the chest like this. Just put it in the band like this and then pin it down. Make sure you, you put in about half inch inside the band just as I'm doing and then pin it down. Do same for the other side of the band and then the chest line as well. Make sure you put in half inch of that part in the band and then pin it down. So guys, this is how it came out. This is how it looks like. So before you take it to the same machine to stitch it down, open up the band like this and then fold the end in like this. Fold it in about one centimeter like this. Fold it in about one centimeter and then fold it back like this and flat iron it. Do the same for the other end as well. Fold in one centimeter or half inch in like this. Flat iron it and then fold it back. Okay guys, so please, so now if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, I'm begging you to please click on the subscribe button, like this video, give this video a thumbs up, and then share this video to your friends and family. So this is it, I'm going to take it to the same machine to stitch it down. Okay. I'll first of all stitch down the band, sorry, the end of the band like this, and then go round the band to join it that's it this is simple this is how it came out now for the down parts of um, the dress you can choose to overlock it or just um, fold it in about um, one centimeter like this and then fold it back half inch like this and then stitch it all around this is it thank you for watching stay tuned for more videos subscribe like this video leave a comment if you enjoyed this tutorial and then make sure you click on the notification bell so anytime I upload a new video, you'll be the first to be notified. Bye!